there are a lot of kids now anubhav who come take up the sport just to get admissions in college mm. abroad they get it and go but sunaina has not been like that she she has got lot of offers from lot of good you know it's in abroad uk and us but she has decided to stay back and play for the country so very few kids do that also tell me about right. how she's matured how she's evolved as a squash player ever since the time she took up squash until now the age of 21 in fact i was a person who took her for a first squash tournament when she was 9 years old to mumbai uh, it was held in cci it was a mixed under 11 so she could play the boys and the girl got flustered when she lost and that was the first and last time i'm allowed to watch her live <laughs> because the time she sees my face she gets scared <laughs> she gets paranoid rather so her discipline her work ethics uh really really things stand out for her and it's been a gradual progress for her when she had to take schooling and sports in fact well standard we were worried whether she'll get good marks but she ended up getting 93% though she attended one week or two weeks of classes oh, wow and well so she was able to combine both studies and sports what do you, what do you think are some of the defining qualities that she has that perhaps helps her to stand out helps her you know gain and achieve everything that she has so far when i used to drop on the academy the squash 6:30 is the timing for the people to come in but she used to wake me up at 5:45 <laughs> and see that she is dropped at 6 o'clock at the academy and she starts her drill sessions every everything before the other kids come in so that really stood out for me because i used to see kids coming at 6:30 6:45 but this kid used to be there at 6 o'clock every day same thing in the evenings and even during the corona time she used to work out here outside my house on the road between 11 and 12 running skipping trying to be fit i don't think many other people have done it at that time of the day in summer these are the two things which i see anubhav in her one is a hard work and one is a work ethic she is really strong in that i think that should help in a long run can you talk to us a bit about uh, how instrumental a role hcl as well as srfi have played in her development in her nurturing as a squash player first let me start with srfi because yeah. if if not for that academy she wouldn't have been here today without a doubt because they really nurtured her brought her to this level from rather graduating from the junior to the senior level they really helped and the second thing is the hcl tournament has been a boom to her because there are hardly tournaments i know how expensive it is to send her abroad mm. for these points and stuff like that <laughs> and uh, very difficult for her to get into the higher level because the ranking is not so high so this hcl has really really benefited her unfortunately this year this tournament couldn't happen hopefully it should restart and she's just waiting for it to restart what do you think are the aspects of her game that she should be continuing to focus on and continue to have a her eyes on the prize on just so that you know she doesn't become complacent uh, and she doesn't become uh, you know carried away i leave it to her to decide how and what because i don't want to get in sometimes these kids if the parents force or you tell something they get disturbed so i'm i just leave it to her to do what she has to do on court the only thing i tell her is as i mentioned earlier be disciplined be focused and play the game in the right spirit is all what i can tell